source critical Lutheran materials that people who are Lutheran and associated with the Lutheran Church ought to be familiar with. Okay, so that's what we're doing right now. That's what we're doing today. Uh, the first Sunday that we started this, we talked about the chief article, which is justification by faith alone. We're going to review that for a few minutes this morning, and then we're going to talk some about Dr. Luther's small and large catechism. Okay? So, if you remember, I wrote down some very helpful terms that you could benefit from. Okay? Uh, the first term is alien righteousness. Uh, let me explain that concept. Okay, and it is uh, one of the, the major uh, significant contributions of Dr. Luther to the Christian church. Now, I went to Catholic school my entire life. I went to two Catholic grade schools, a Catholic high school, three Catholic colleges, and a Catholic graduate school. I never, ever heard anything like this concept that Luther discovered in his reading of and so, to me, it's one of the greatest discoveries ever, okay? Christopher Columbus discovered the new world. Luther discovered alien righteousness in the writings of Paul, something that had been lost since the Apostolic era. And it is just awesome. Let me explain it to you in a nutshell, okay? So, how does a sinner stand confidently before a righteous God. Okay, that was a real problem for Luther because Luther wanted to please God and he wanted to live a godly life and believe that by living a godly life and making the right choices and doing the right things, he could please God. But at the end of every day, no matter how hard he tried, no matter how much he punished himself, no matter how many times he went to confession, no matter how much he prayed, no matter how much he ruined his knees uh, by praying on hard stones or uh, punishing himself or whipping his back or uh, causing himself physical harm by abstaining from food, all these things in an effort to be holy and righteous before God, he realized to his chagrin that every night he still went to bed a wretched sinner. And he could not escape this terrible problem. In fact, he, he, he talks quite a bit in his writings about something he called infecto. And fact, all means and is trash of the rest. Uh, it's actually a translation of a Latin word, tentatio, which means temptation, which means much more than temptation. And fact, all is a spiritual condition by which uh, you are so conscious of your sins and your unworthiness but you have no hope for yourself. You believe that you are a condemned person and that the entire universe, every leaf on every tree condemns you to hell because of your sinfulness, okay? And so this is the devil's uh, grip on your soul, all right? When you are in the throes of infection, the devil has got you. 
wish God's gracious and propitious, propitious favor. He is elected not to be angry with you, but to be generous in forgiving you. But it can also mean uh, the way in which God draws you back into your friendship. Okay? So we're talking about something that is not of this world. We're talking about something that comes from above. Jesus would explain to make the case in John chapter 3. The means of grace which are
this is not your blood. Thank you. 